thing to me. Now, how this works, uh, and I don't know if they told you, and if they did, I'm, I'm repeating myself, I'm sorry, but how this works is um, Andy's gonna visit with you, and then after that, if you're, if he um, clears you for surgery, you know, then then I take care of everything else. I will fax all of the information to Dr. Bell's office, okay. and um, so then, and that will go like through our care in the community, you know, so they'll also be aware that you've had all of this done prior to your surgery on the 17th. Okay. Okay, so you shouldn't have to, um, you shouldn't have to do anything else unless, you know, unless Andy tells you that uh, if we're doing something else, you know, sometimes people have to have like a cardiac consult or something like that, but um, okay. otherwise just know that we'll, I'll take care of it. Okay. All right, I'm going to print your labs for Andy to go over. And a copy of your chest x-ray. Would you happen to know who's going to um, deal with uh, transportation? Because the surgery is in Hastings, and then they're talking about putting me on the CLC floor for recovery. Um, or so I don't know who do deals with the transportation as far as like getting to the surgery. Okay. But for sure, the between the CLC, like our our um, Veterans Transportation Service, and the CLC will work together to get you here from there. Okay. Um, but let me find out. Do you have the um, the number for the Veteran Transportation Service? Yep. That card. Okay. That. And so you might need to go ahead and set that up for the surgery, the date of your surgery. Okay. Um, I would just maybe encourage you to do that as sooner rather than later, just to make sure that they have somebody out there that can. The one going to the surgery, I can just use the public transportation. Okay. And then, but from there to here, that's yep. what I was worried about. And so they, and you're between the social worker at the hospital, okay. because I'm imagining you're gonna be uh, are you there overnight at least? Two days. Yeah, so they'll take care of that. They Between the social worker there and our social worker upstairs, okay. they should be able to take care of uh, arranging that, and they'll get you taken care of, especially if they're accepting you on CLC, they'll take care of getting you getting you transporta transported here. Okay. Okay? But if not, I mean, regardless, the, you should not have to do that for yourself. They usually do that for they usually do that for each service like CLC is going to work with veteran transportation service to get you that but if not you have that number yep. that you can call if you need to just to make sure that you you know hey is everything planned are we are we good to go I don't want to okay. have any problems okay okay right. okay Alright, so I'm going to let Andy know that you're ready. Give me just a minute, and okay. um, and then he'll come in and get you and have you go into his office, okay? Oh, okay. All right, good luck with your yes. surgery, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hello, Mr. Herrick. Yes. Hey, this is Daniel Zach with the VA. How are you? Oh, okay. Good. Hey, I'm calling because your social worker advised that you have a surgery coming up. Yes. Okay, I was wondering if you wanted a consult for either our CLC or a nursing home uh, consult placed for your recovery time. Yes. Okay, well with your permission then I will go ahead and put that consult in and we will move forward, okay? Okay. Any questions? Mm. Mm, not really a question, just kind of confusion, because they told oh. me that that was already taken care of. So I think there was discussion, but there's not a formal consult, and so I will go ahead and enter that. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, you have a good one, okay? All right. Bye. Bye.